This is TF from Team Pumpenstein, and I'm on a mission from Rod. Gonna basically break the gun down. Let's pretend that that uh, you just got back from playing. The gun is dirty and uh, messed up and you just want to clean it. Um, this isn't going to be a super long breakdown and I will show you on the next video on how to break it down completely. Um, but we'll show you in this one how to break it down. First thing you want to do is pull out the bolt. There is an o-ring in the bolt that holds the bolt pin in. So you just take the bolt out and put it back the same way. One important thing when you're reassembling, don't try to install the bolt upside down. You actually can, and you can get the pin on the wrong side, and it will seem fine, and the gun will shoot about three inches because the bolt hole, the hole that transfers the gas, is upside down. If your gun suddenly stops working and you've been messing with the bolt, it's the bolts upside down. That's an old trick that we used to do to some friends is turn their bolt upside down and try to see what they would do with their gun. Take out this. This is a cocking rod. This has been loctited from the factory. You don't need to adjust this. Take this apart, wipe it down. Use any way that you can get off this uh, screw right here, this auto trigger pin. Right now they seem to be coming from the factory with a little hole in the side where you use a .050 uh, Allen screw and you unscrew this. Um, some of the ones use 1.8. They've, they've done a multiple different ways of doing that. One right now is that way. Take that out. If this comes out, take it out. It, it doesn't have to, so you don't have to take that out. One quick way of getting the uh, pump off is just rotate that back block 180 degrees and slide the pump off. And I usually just leave it. I set it aside. Um, now, I think this came from uh, uh, used with a return spring. Return spring is your choice. They don't come to the fa from the factory with a return spring. Um, what I like to do with return springs is this. I don't like them, so I just get rid of them as fast as I can. Then you're going to want to use a 1 8 inch wrench to unscrew the two screws that hold on the frame. Now, this is probably even going a bit far for what you might do in a day's cleaning. If you didn't get shot in the gun or play the snake or, or whatever, or if you play like some of my teammates um, where it's a two-step dead box type of rule, I'm primarily talking about Les and Bo here, but uh, if, you're, if you're a two-step dead box kind of guy, then uh, you probably don't need to wipe your gun down at all. The only thing you probably need to do is just give money to your teammates for carrying you all day. Um, and that's how I make my money on the weekends. So take those two screws off and take that out. That's probably all the further you need to go on the grip frame. What you're going to want to do is make sure that your, um, everything is clean in here. Grab a simple rag. I usually also have a spray bottle. I didn't have that in the tool thing, but I usually carry a spray bottle. No, that doesn't have WD-40. It just uh, holds water, a little bit of alcohol, not much alcohol, and a little bit of soap. So I spray that on there, wipe it down, and, and, uh, and make sure everything is working properly in there. This trigger's a little sticky. I'll show you how to take this apart in a few minutes, and we'll, we'll fix that. And... Uh, Take apart the reg, not take apart the reg, take the reg off. And you've got your basic body sitting there. Wipe it down. Get to all the, the stuff here. Wipe down the arms. Those arms tend to get black. While they're in there, straighten these arms. Those always get a little bit crooked. And if they're crooked, get them straight. And use the appropriate uh, Allen wrench, which is a 316 Allen wrench, to tighten that back down. Clean those up and lubricate those, and then put it back together. That should be about it once you got everything wiped down. One thing I will do as well, what I would do, is I would grab a fleece, run it through the inside of the top tube, get sure that that's clean. If you didn't have any chops or anything in the tube, don't worry about the detents. Run that, make sure that's clean, which everything is. Everything looks pretty good, so we're going to put it back together. Now, what should you lubricate when you put it back together? Static O-rings, again, get Dow 55. So I put a little bit of Dow, just a little bit here, probably, uh, you know, overkill. Put the reg on first. The reg has to go on first before the uh, grip goes back on. Anyway, probably a little bit of overkill, but it's nice to have it on there. It swells the O-rings up a little bit and you always get a good seal. Now, if you can see, you've got two different sized screws here. The smaller screw always goes in the back of the gun. Small screw in the back. As you can see, there's very few threads 
very few threads here. You don't want to put the long one in here or it'll get into the spring, it'll get into the IVG and it will screw things up. So long screw in the front, give that a couple of turns until you can get the uh, frame back on. Short screw in the back. Slide the frame on. This is why ball end Allen keys are important. The ball ends help keep it in on a kind of a slight angle. Tighten that down. Make sure it's flush with the back that your grip frame with a snatch grip is flush, flush, not flush. That's the Asian way of being flush. Flush with the back. Take your pump arm. I should apologize to the Asians on our team. Sorry. Okay. Put the bolt back in. Let me get my hand out of the way. Put the bolt back in. Again, pin usually goes in as you as you guys are looking at it. Going to go. The pin is going to go in from left to right as you're shooting the gun. So as you guys see it, it's from right to left. But put it in that way. Screw the. Uh, pump rod back in. And then the last thing you're going to do before you make your connections is to take that auto trigger pin and put that back in. One thing I didn't mention because this gun didn't have it, when you're taking off the grip frame, some of the newer Chipleys have a ball and a spring that hold the trigger uh, cam in. Be careful when you're taking that off. Make sure you keep the frame vertical and you pull the body away from it so that you don't dump the ball and spring out. They're tiny and they're easy to lose. If you do lose them, call up Chipley to get replacements. Mel's going to hate me for stating that. Sorry, Mel. Make your connections and you should be good to go. Now, when you air up your gun again, always cock the gun. Always cock the gun. If you're getting leaks down the barrel, um, right away, oh my god, my gun's leaking, what the heck's going on? The gun is not cocked, the valve is being held forward, and air is just going to go rushing out. Cock the gun first, screw in your tank, try not to cross thread things. It's not my gun, so I can cross thread it. Cock the gun, air it up, no leaks. Everything works just fine. And that's it. That's all you need to do after a day of play. You're a bad, bad girl.